my name is Haley L. Sacer, and I'm a fashion designer from Toronto. I launched my brand in 2013 in Australia, where I went to university to study, and I moved to Toronto um, about two years ago. I've been back here, and I have a store on Queen Street in Toronto and an online store. I was chosen as one of 12 graduates from fashion school in Australia to show at L'Oreal Fashion Week. To see that my clothing in that way, it was a really great feeling. And not only that, I had some really great support and attention from that. And then the next day, there was a girl wearing my stuff in um, kind of the equivalent of like People Magazine in Australia. So I was like, okay, let's do it. Now I have staff members, but for the first two years, it was just me managing production, social media, sending all my orders. I sewed for my first show that showed at Sydney Fashion Week. I sold the whole collection and I only had 30 days to do it. So it's just like working pretty much from the moment you wake up to the moment you go to sleep. It's really exhausting, but it's also really rewarding because the amount of work that you've put into it is directly related to the kind of success that you receive. I can't say who it is, but at the moment I've done a, custom, a few custom looks for someone that I've really wanted to work for for a really long time, a musician who's really huge. So that's something that's such an amazing feeling for me. Like looking back two years ago, I'd never thought someone, Katy Perry wore my stuff, Miley Cyrus was wearing my stuff. So I would never thought that someone like that would be wearing my stuff. And now I'm kind of doing custom stuff for those kind of people and dealing directly with them. So the fact that they can kind of respect what I do and they enjoy what I do so much to trust me to do something custom for them and design something just for them is a really amazing feeling. I've done open castings and I really am aware of the fact that I want to have a nice representation of a lot of different people on my runway. Customers and social media people, like people my age or younger, were really supportive of it because they could see someone that they identified with on the runway, but the people who I was trying to target was like the media and they kind of just swept it on, under the rug. And I had something really important to say. It's so insane to have one really, really strict idea of beauty when there's so much beauty around us in different shapes and sizes and colors. I think it's really crazy and outrageous that other people aren't doing this and I think that eventually I hope this will become the norm. I think a very important lesson is that you have to be really true to yourself. A lot of times in fashion, people take this, themselves very seriously and try to be something that they're not. And I've seen fellow students that I graduated at the same time doing that kind of thing and trying to be like Alexander McQueen or something else. That's not the path that you're supposed to be following. And if you're doing something that's truly yourself and more organic, it's a lot easier. It's really cheesy, but be true to who you are and figure out something that you're really passionate about and follow through with that.